Nuketown Zombies is the 12th map in the Call of Duty Zombies storyline. In Nuketown, we take a break from the ongoing Victus Crew storyline to learn about some of the events occurring on Earth while Richtofen was on the moon enacting his grand scheme. Somewhere in the Nevada desert at an undisclosed nuclear testing facility simply called Nuketown, the Broken Arrow group use an excavator to drill for more Element 115. We are unsure of the reason that they need even more Element 115, but as a result of this drilling, a nuke is accidentally detonated. This is presumably the explosion we see at the end of a match in the Black Ops 1 multiplayer version of Nuketown. This nuclear explosion triggers an emergency response from a group of radiation scientists. These scientists discover what is left of the Nuketown. As they study the destruction, they are attacked by soldiers who have been revived by Element 115 as zombies. The scientists are overrun by these turned soldiers and they themselves are turned into zombies. Before turning, the scientists put out a distress signal. This triggers a joint response from the FBI and CDC. Agents arrive on scene to attempt to make sense of what they are seeing. Nuketown is unique because it is one of the few maps where we play as completely random characters. Playing as either a CDC or FBI agent, the goal is simply to survive. It is not stated what their mission was, most likely they were sent to observe the zombie outbreak and extract the radiation scientists. They soon learn the sad truth, there were no survivors in or around the Nuketown facility, except for one. As they knock on the hatch to the fallout shelter, they hear the voice of Marlton Johnson. It's uncertain how or why Marlton Marlton ended up inside the bunker beneath Nuketown, but he hides out here for quite some time. As the agents fight to survive, they hear odd conversations through the electronics around the map. They also hear the voice of a little girl as they pick up odd power-ups dropped by the zombies. These are the voices of Samantha Maxis and Edward Richtofen. Upon reaching round 25 on Nuketown, we witness the change of the announcer from Samantha to Richtofen. The eye color of the zombies changes from yellow to blue. These things signify the ascension of Richtofen. He is now the one in control of the MPD and with it the zombies. We know that after Richtofen takes control of the MPD, Maxis launches missiles from Moon which will impact the Earth and hopefully disrupt Richtofen's connection to the Aether. The agents hold out as long as they can but are ultimately outnumbered. There is no survival for them. As the last agent on site is taken down by the zombies, we witness one of the missiles from Moon make impact with Nuketown. We see this in the game over screen on Nuketown. It appears that the entire facility is obliterated. There are are no survivors in Nuketown. Well, except for Marlton Johnson. With the zombies now erased from existence and the events of Moon concluded, he leaves the safety of the bunker and sometime over the next 10 years meets Missy Briarton and the rest of the Victus crew. And that, my friends, is the story of Nuketown Zombies.